In this video, I'm going to talk about the very serious topic of copyright infringement and whether you are at risk of getting sued. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And if learning more about how to make money online with things like self-publishing is something that interests you, then please take a moment to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new videos that I upload just like this one. Copyright infringement is something that is really important to understand no matter what kind of product that you are selling online because there are really serious repercussions for people who do infringe on copyright or trademarks. I decided to make this video this week and talk about copyright because of some news I heard recently about a small Etsy business being sued by Disney for making handmade Disney products and selling them quite successfully through their Etsy store. And most of the videos that I make on my channel are about self-publishing books on Amazon KDP. And this topic is going to be relevant for people publishing books on KDP too, as well as those of you who do have Etsy stores, and even those who maybe have an eBay store, or even if you are selling products through Merch by Amazon. And just quickly, for those who might be unfamiliar with the terms, copyright and trademark infringement. What do they mean? It's basically when you use a copyrighted or trademarked product, logo, brand, image, etc. in your own products without the permission of the trademark owner. So for example, Disney, as we are talking about in this particular video, is a trademarked brand as well as all of the Disney characters. Another example, the Coca-Cola brand and logo is trademarked. The basketball player, LeBron James, his name and image is a trademark, as well as the basketball team and the team's name that he plays for. Anyone can register a trademark and it can be on a brand name or a phrase, a logo, and even an image. And once that trademark is registered, only the owner of that trademark is legally allowed to use it and profit from it. We've all seen the books on Amazon. We've seen all the products on Etsy, Disney themed coloring books and activity books, or on Etsy invitations and gifts with Disney characters on them. And we wonder how do they even get approved to be sold? How do these people get away with using trademarked images and brands? Firstly, Etsy doesn't have an approval process. So you can pretty much put any product on Etsy with a trademarked or copyrighted image or a brand name or something like that without a problem. Amazon does have an approval process for both their books on Kindle Direct Publishing as well as the products that they allow through Merch by Amazon. So we have to wonder, how do these products even make it to the Amazon marketplace? I know I'm not the only one who has so much trouble sometimes getting a book approved to be published because it has maybe something like the word journal twice in the title and subtitle or just something really silly like that. But they let these books through that are clearly violating a copyright or a trademark. How does that even work? It gets incredibly frustrating, especially for those of us who are trying to do the right thing and not use other people's trademarks and copyright to make money. So while it can be frustrating to see these people publishing books with a trademark on it, and we aren't talking about unknown trademarks here. Now, there are some people out there who are completely oblivious to the fact that you cannot use other people's branding and names and logos and things like that for your own use. There are people who genuinely have no idea, but I think 99% of us know that we can't do that. And Disney is not a small brand that a lot of people haven't heard of. I'm not sure if you could come across somebody on this planet who has not heard of Disney, but don't fall into the trap of doing the same thing because somebody else has gotten away with it and thinking you're not going to get caught because most likely you will and everybody else will get caught at some point. And why would you only want to be successful because you're taking something from someone else and the hard work that they put in to create that brand only for you to just go and steal it. So back to the Etsy store that is being sued by Disney. Now this isn't the first time Disney has sued anyone and it's definitely not the first time they've sued a small business. Just Go do a Google search and you'll find many, many stories of people being sued by Disney for violating copyright and trademarks. But this particular case happened last month. So I just thought it would be really interesting to bring it to your attention that this is something that is happening that we actually don't really ever hear much about. And if you ever think 
that people are just getting away with this. Why don't they ever get caught? This is just a little bit of evidence that these big brands do really take this sort of thing seriously. And this Etsy store getting sued didn't just happen out of nowhere either. Disney did send this small business several cease and desist letters asking them to stop selling products with the Disney trademarks on them. And the small business did promise that they were going to stop selling the Disney products, but instead they just changed the name of their store to try to hide from Disney, but kept continuing to do what they were doing. So even giving them the benefit of the doubt, and if they didn't know at the beginning that they were infringing on Disney trademark, which I highly doubt, they were then informed by Disney that what they were doing was wrong and they couldn't continue to do it, but just continue to do, do it anyway and even change their name of their store to try and get around it. So they shouldn't really be surprised at the outcome of all of this eventually being sued by Disney. Eventually it caught up with them and Disney has decided to sue them for unauthorized use of the Disney trademarks. So let's talk about this a little bit. Why is this a problem? As in, why is it a problem using another brand or a big business's branding? I know that there are some people out there who are against big corporations, who think big corporations are out there ripping people off and think that it's just a small business. What's the harm? Big businesses make enough money. A little Etsy seller isn't going to hurt them. That is not the point. First of all, Disney, as well as many other really big brands out there that people like to use their branding or their images or their logo or character designs in the same way, unauthorized, these businesses have spent countless years building their businesses to what they are. Disney itself has been building that brand since the early 1900s. Why is it okay for people to steal from them just because they are a small business? Why is it okay to steal from a business just because they are a big corporation and already make a lot of money? How would you like it if someone just came and stole your hard-earned work and used it for themselves and made money from it? I see people all the time who create a book and they publish it and start selling it on Amazon. It starts to do well and you see the copycats come in and copy that book and the original publisher of the book gets so angry and upset, and rightly so, reports them to Amazon, complains about it on Facebook groups. It's wrong and it shouldn't happen. So how is that any different from a brand like Disney being stolen from? Trademarks exist to help alleviate confusion for customers when buying specific products from specific brands. It helps to protect brands from having their branding used by other people who are not allowed to be using that branding. And those people who are not authorized to use that particular branding may also create inferior products, which of course will end up with an upset and confused customer when they thought they were buying the original product from the original trademark owner. And of course, the trademarks also exist to protect against them losing profits, against other people profiting from that brand's trademarks. Since they are the trademark owner, they are the only ones who can legally profit from it. If everyone actually followed the law, then a customer could be sure that the product they were buying was from the actual trademark owner. So there is no issue with bad quality or inferior products, as quite often happens when you buy a knockoff. And you're probably wondering to yourself, why do Amazon and Etsy even allow this to happen? How do these products even make it for sale in the first place? I feel like Amazon is somewhat proactive in trying to stop books and the print on demand products from even getting getting to their marketplace, but the sheer amount of books and products that are being uploaded for approval to Amazon each day, the volume is just too much to catch everybody. Plus, it is all automated to help books and products get approved or not approved as quickly as possible. And the Amazon bots <laughs> that do this approval process seem to let quite a lot slip through. Etsy, on the other hand, does not have this filtering process. When products are uploaded to the platform, you can upload any product with a trademark on it without a problem. And something else that I see a lot of talk about, particularly in Facebook groups around publishing books, is when people get really aggravated by these people who do get these kind of books approved with obvious trademarks on them. And then those people go out 
and report the books to Amazon. Now, the fact is that only the trademark owner can submit a complaint about someone violating their trademark and asking to have that product removed. And most big brands do have a team out there, as we can see by what's happening with Disney, who just spend their time looking for small businesses or just other businesses who are profiting from these trademarks that they shouldn't be. And they will submit these complaints to Amazon and Etsy or whatever platform it is that these products are selling on. Both Amazon and Etsy are very quick at taking down these products when they do receive a complaint from a trademark owner. Amazon even removing books sometimes that aren't violating any trademark because they don't even go off and do the research themselves to see if it is a trademark that's being violated or not. They really just don't want to get in the firing line from anybody in regards to being sued for any kind of copyright or trademark infringements from any brand who will sue them or sue anyone for using their trademarks. So their motto here, I think, is just better be safe than sorry, pull the product just to be safe. Etsy works in the same way. Any trademark violation will get that product pulled from the marketplace and for both platforms, both Amazon and Etsy. The best outcome that you can get, to be honest, if you are using and continue to use trademarks illegally is that you get your account terminated and that is it. If this happens to you and that is all that happens to you is losing your selling privileges, then I would think yourself lucky. That's all that has happened and that you are not the next person that we are talking about actually getting sued from a brand. But all that aside, it's not that you are not allowed to use these trademarks in your own products. You just need to get permission from the brand that you want to use. And basically that is by paying them to use their trademarks. Every company is going to be different, but specifically talking about Disney, as we have been this whole video, they do not have a set amount that it is going to cost for their trademarks. It is done on a case by case basis. So the cost is going to probably be different for everybody. There are rumors on the internet saying that it costs at least $10,000 per year in licensing fees. Plus you would need to also give 50% from the sale of every Disney branded product that you sell to Disney. So do the right thing and build your business on the back of your own hard work and your original designs. And if you really do want to use another brand's trademarks or something they've copyrighted, their branding, their logo, or their characters, whatever it may be, then make sure you do it the right way and by paying to use those trademarks. You cannot build a long lasting sustainable business by taking things that you are not allowed to use. It will eventually catch up with you. And if you are ever unsure whether something is trademarked or not, whether you are allowed to use it or not, then get in contact with a copyright lawyer who can help clarify whether you can use something or not in your product designs. I hope you enjoyed the topic of today's video. I know I see a lot of people questioning copyright and trademarks asking questions about whether something is right or wrong to use. I know the majority of us out there are trying to do the right thing and just trying to get the correct information to be able to determine whether you can use something in your design or not. And so I hope this video has given you some insight on the purpose of trademarks and the importance of them, as well as the ramifications of violating any trademark or copyright infringement. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.